Since time immemorial, people have looked at the stars and reflected on the immensity of the universe. But what if we tell you that the mystery of what lies beyond the universe has finally been solved? The James Webb Space Telescope has just made a discovery that shakes the foundations of astrophysics and thrills scientists. This breakthrough is so revolutionary that it can completely change our understanding of the cosmos as we know it. So, what exactly has this cutting-edge telescope discovered at the edge of the universe? I am glad to see all of you on the Spaced Op channel. Before we embark on the most exciting and distant journey of your life, I ask you to subscribe to my channel and like this video. We really appreciate your support, but I wish you a pleasant viewing. Imagine that you have a time machine that could take you back to the past to see the creation of the universe. The James Webb Space Telescope is exactly what allows us to look billions of years into the past and take a fresh look at the most remote corners of space. Thanks to its advanced infrared detection technology, the Webb Telescope is like a superhuman eye that can see objects and phenomena invisible to our own eyes. What is the result of these amazing abilities? Astronomers have received stunning images of galaxies and clusters, including the distant and elusive Max 0647 JD, which caused a shock in the scientific community. The image reveals an amazing sight, a breathtaking group of galaxies that twinkle like precious stones against the background of the boundless emptiness of space. But what really excited scientists about this image is not only its beauty, but also the wealth of information it provides. Max 0647 JD, a distant galaxy first discovered 10 years ago by the Hubble Space Telescope, the image has been studied in much more detail thanks to the effect of the triple lens of the James Webb Telescope, which allows a new look at its structure, composition, and behavior. But the discoveries of the Webb Telescope do not end there. The telescope has done everything possible to detect galaxies that are beyond our wildest imagination. And these are not just some galaxies. These are some of the oldest existing ones, for example, Z12, which was created just 350 million years after the Big Bang. Let this sink in for a moment. The age of this galaxy exceeds 13 billion years, and its discovery has shaken our previous ideas about the origin of the universe. Previously, the farthest we could see in the past was the galaxy GNZ11, which existed only 400 million years after the Big Bang as it was seen by the Hubble Space Telescope in the 2016th year. But thanks to the incredible capabilities of the James Webb Telescope, we were able to look even further into the past, discovering galaxies that existed just 250 million years after the Big Bang. The galaxy Sears 93316 with a stunning redshift is a testament to the unprecedented technological achievements of the Webb Telescope. This galaxy is so far away that we see it in its infancy, and its discovery is part of the Cosmic Evolution Early Release Scientific Study, which uses the James Webb Telescope to take images of distant galaxies. The discovery of Sears 93316 adds to the growing body of evidence suggesting that galaxies formed even earlier than previously thought. What's most exciting about this breakthrough is that it takes us back to an era when none of the stars we know today existed. It's like searching for a hidden treasure that leads us to what is commonly referred to as the Dark Ages. In simple words, these are the times when, as it was believed, the first galaxies of the universe were formed. It's a bit like being able to look into a time capsule that takes us billions of years back and gives us a rare glimpse of what our universe was like in the early days of its existence. The opening of Sears 93316 is just the beginning of the most interesting. NASA has hinted that the James Webb Telescope can detect more than 20 galaxies with redshifts that appear just 200 million years after the Big Bang. This makes the discovery of Sears 93316 even more important and exciting, as it gives hope that these elusive galaxies may exist. This is a whole new world of possibilities for what else we could discover in the vast expanses of the universe. At the edge of the universe is another exciting galaxy that makes scientists tremble with excitement, Abel 2744Y1. Its distance from us is so great that its light takes an incredible 13 billion years to reach us, 
making it almost as old as the universe itself. But despite the distance, the Spitzer, Chandra and Hubble telescopes have captured an image of this remarkable galaxy. It was obtained as a result of joint work on collecting data from various wavelengths of light. They even used gravitational lensing, a phenomenon predicted by Albert Einstein, to get an image of Abel 2744 and 1. What's really amazing about this is that a galaxy is not only its age and distance, but also the rate of star formation. Despite the fact that Abel 2744Y1 is only 50 times smaller than our own Milky Way galaxy, it generates stars at a rate 10 times faster than the Milky Way, which is typical for the galaxies of the early universe. This incredible rate of star formation has shocked scientists and aroused their curiosity about what else this galaxy has in store. Despite the fact that the study of this galaxy is no small feat, the information collected to date has undoubtedly moved scientists forward for many years to come. Have you ever thought about the true size of the universe? It is difficult for our brain to even imagine its size, because it is so huge. Scientists, however, tried to measure it, despite its amazing size, and the results were very unexpected. The observable universe alone has a radius of 46.1 tenth of a billion light years, but there is much more beyond it that we cannot even see. Based on observations and our knowledge of physics, scientists have determined that the universe is flat on the largest scale. But if the universe is curved and closes on itself, then the observed part may have a diameter of at least 23 trillion light years and contain a volume 15 million times larger than the one we see. Some scientists even claim that the observable universe may be much larger than this one. It is quite possible that the hot Big Bang marked only the beginning of the observable universe and not the birth of space and time themselves. But that's not all, there's still a lot we don't know. The universe experienced a period of cosmic inflation before the Big Bang, during which it expanded, creating new space at an incredible speed. This raises many unanswered questions about the size and nature of our universe. For example, how large was the region of the universe that was subjected to inflation, and how long did inflation last before the hot Big Bang? It is quite possible that the universe in which inflation occurred was hardly larger than what we can observe. Despite all these uncertainties, there is an exciting possibility that there are countless other universes just like ours, with similar laws of physics and structures. This raises the tempting possibility that complex life could exist in one of these many worlds. The vastness of the universe is truly amazing, but the possibilities it opens up are just as incredible. In addition, it is believed that the bubble that marked the end of inflation should have a finite size and scale, and a huge number of such bubbles are present within a larger inflating spacetime. The vastness of the universe is simply breathtaking, and the possibilities are endless. It is mind-boggling to think that we are just a tiny speck in the grand scheme of things, in which so much remains to be discovered. For example, the most distant galaxy ever observed by humans is GNZ 11, which is located at a staggering distance of 32 billion light years from our planet. This means that the light we see today from GNZ 11 went on its journey to us when the universe was only 3% of its current age. The distance to GNZ 11 is so great that it is hard to imagine. Moreover, if we take into account the expansion of space, the distance from Earth to GNZ 11 becomes staggering 46 billion light years. What makes GNZ 11 even more intriguing is that it marks the boundary of what we can observe. It is located on the surface of the last scattering, where, after recombination and separation of photons, the first photons of cosmic microwave background radiation appeared. In a sense, the GNZ-12 represents the boundary of the observable universe beyond which we cannot see anything or observe what is happening. When we peer into the vast expanses of space, it's easy to feel small and insignificant. The universe is so vast and infinite that it can be overwhelming. However, as we go deeper into space, we better understand our place in the universe. By exploring the origin and evolution of the universe, we can learn about the processes that have shaped it over billions of years. 
I really hope that you liked this video and you were passionate about watching it. If this is at least a little so, then like this video and subscribe to the channel. Well, I'm not saying goodbye to you. See you in the new video.